Now, first thing we're going to import the accounts. It doesn't really matter if you do contacts first or accounts. I would do accounts first, make sure the company's there and then the contacts. So we've obviously got one spreadsheet, but we've got two areas. So we have to import it twice. The first one, we'll just look for a company name and data. The second one, we'll look for contacts, right? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to accounts, look at the top, and I'm going to go import, import accounts, browse, and uh, go to, I would think it's this one, right? Uh, let's just make sure. Uh, no, it's not that one. Save as. Yeah, that was my accounting, I think. Uh, save as uh, user import 2019, whatever you want to call it, so you can find it. So I'm going to browse user import 2019, and it's going to automatically look and find that information. It says everything's all right. Now, if you know that, that, that everybody on that list is already is not in your accounts or isn't on your company, then you can just add as new accounts. If, if they aren't in the system, if there's a chance they are in the system, then you can do here both. Add new ones and, and update, right? Then you need to find an existing field account name. So it's going to be under the company. So it's going to look for that company name. Uh, don't update empty values uh, for existing accounts. So yeah, that's fine. So if there's already some information in the system, you don't want to blank it out because you haven't got it on your spreadsheet. So I would leave that ticked. Well, for most people, it will be add as new accounts, right? So I'm going to add. I'm going to um, start tagging different areas. So this is my spreadsheet, right? So first name, last name, so company name. So that's going to be account name. The company name, business name, organization name, whatever your spreadsheet says, it's the account name. And what you'll see is a little red star that means that you've got to have that that field mapped. It's the only it's the only field that must have something associated to it, but it's pretty easy to understand. So <clears throat> anything else that it's seen that it thinks makes sense, like web, website, phone, phone one, it's going to pick up. Well, else have I got on there? Uh, street name, uh, billing code, billing street. I'm going to put as address, uh, county. I'm going to make as state. Billing code, if state's there. Uh, where are we? Account site, revenue, billing code, billing country, currency. And if you've mapped your if you've mapped your um, um, CRM differently, then you'll pick out whatever you've put as new names, right? Um, so maybe there isn't state within default, so I can just ignore it for now. Um, account owner, it's going to be a contact in it. Yeah, account number. Country ownership uh, shipping. So I'm going to leave that one off. Zip code will be uh, billing code. No, that's not billing code. I'm mind about account owner. Uh, do, do, do. Country code. Oh, shipping code. So let's say um, billing city. Mapped already, Berlin City, Berlin Province. So province, what's already mapped to province? State. All right, so I don't know why it says county and state. It's the same thing, so sorry. Billing code. That's probably um, not worded great, is it, billing code? Phone two, I don't think it is a phone two. Uh, or I might have a phone two. I haven't got an option for a phone two. And email, you won't add it within um within the main account so i've mapped everything i can and then i just go to next uh five fields that's fine because there's names it won't um assign an owner if you want to say it's if you've got certain people in there so i'm gonna assign it to me but you can assign it to whoever it is it's probably doing your own assign tasks if you want to create some sort of task and i would i would add a tag here um maybe you know, um import 2019 or import today make it whatever today's date is just give them the tag because if it goes wrong you can search by the tag and delete them right so i'm going to click finish account import has been scheduled and it'll just start importing them you will get an email when it's been done 
It shouldn't take too long, even though there's like 500 of those. I'm going to add, if you just go to this column and add tags here. Where's tags? Tag. If you add the tag and save. You don't need to do this. I'm just waiting for the email. I'm going to add the tag there, right? Yeah, account imported successfully. Import 2019. Here's my notification saying 480 added. 13 skips because on my account I've got a few that are uh, the same so it only looks for one one account even though there's 500 contacts now when I save this go on uh, go to account all my new ones are imported and they're all under import 2019 so these are all the new the new contacts have been added. Sorry, the new accounts, the businesses have been added.